Hey guys, this is Aaron with Crowdoor Adventures, and today I'm up at Bonneville Dam fishing for shad. Uh, it's been a while since I've tried to fish for shad, so we'll see how it goes. Oh yeah, I thought about going and doing that again, but I don't know. I'm so discouraged from the fact that they closed it. Look at that fat thing. Yeah, thanks man. Yeah, of course. Really? There you go. Off. Dang. Just starting to remind me what it was like when I was a kid.
might uh people are clearing out here i might throw the bobber out just for fun see if i can't uh see if i can't touch a fish or two come on you're not that big Fish off. acting like it's a whale. Oh, and it's off. Man, this wind is just whipping.
That's a big old shed. I think I'll make a few more casts, maybe get a couple more fish and then call it. Oop, I just missed a fish there. Oh, I missed a fish there. Yes, <laughs> Must have gotten through a nice little school of them. Max getting a little tired from standing on these rocks. Yeah. If you're ever just wanting to just come out and catch fish just to catch fish, Shad is your Shad is your game, because I'm not big on eating them. I've eaten them smoked before and pressure cooked. And they're not bad, they don't taste bad. It's got a lot of bones. They're definitely an acquired taste. And then on top of that, you know, you could you could come down here. Every other person is keeping them, so come down. Not a big catch and release person, and you aren't gonna eat them. Look to your left or your right and see who's keeping them because somebody's always keeping them. I used to keep them to fish for sturgeon, but I just, I, I don't have the heart to fish for sturgeon anymore. I just, I fished for sturgeon most of my life and they closed it down. I really just don't, oh, I missed it. I just don't enjoy the fishing for oversized sturgeon anymore. It used to be a lot of fun. But then it just all of a sudden wasn't. But that's just how it goes. I was trying to figure out why I'm sore, but I fell. So that probably explains it. I'm getting a little too old to be falling in the rocks. I'm not still not, you know, I'm still young enough. So I know I'll be okay. But not like when I was a kid and I could fall in the rocks and bounce right back up and do it a few more times. I'm tempted to throw on like a spinner or something, see if I can't hook a salmon. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do that. Well, actually, it's open. I know it, isn't it? Yeah, I can believe it's open. All right, I just want to get one more fish and I think I'll go home. You'll call it a day. I know it's been a while since I posted a video. Uh, just a lot of things going on. Life, you know how it goes. But I'm really hoping that this year I can I can get a few more videos posted, and then eventually get on a good posting schedule. Actually, not even. I just post more often. I shouldn't say posting schedule because I'm not good with schedules. <laughs> There we go. Well, there's nobody around me anymore, so I think I will be just uh, unhooking and letting go. This one is a bleeding like a stuck pig, so he got him the gills. So we won't be uh, we'll be finding somebody to give this one to. Oh gosh.
kind of hoping against you know all odds that I might accidentally hook a salmon take a salmon home I'll keep a salmon gladly keep a salmon oh no missed him ah, that was a good hit too oh well that's why I didn't have him monster fish <laughs> that thing's huge <laughs> that's a big one have a good one do one more cast so i got a bite and i missed it so let's do one more cast and that is it okay i think i said last cast like 10 casts ago okay. i should give it up here soon though my back is starting to kill me they are so bad. Oh no! Well, that was a fun little trip. Let's see if I can get the sun out of my eyes. Uh, not so productive at first, and I had to kind of give up on the bobber idea. The fish were too deep, and the wind was too 
the wind and the current were just too much. Um, but it was awesome of that guy that was fishing next to me to give me a, a jig. This year I've had a lot better, better encounters with other fishermen than I have in prior years. So I think we're, we're finally getting back to how it used to be where fishermen want to actually help each other. But yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun once I started hooking fish. That ultralight rod I was using just too ultralight. It, those fish and that current where I just could barely get them to move. But once I switched to my glass rod, um, it was a lot more fun because that's a, that's a light rod, but it's, you know, a lot tougher than that little ultralight. And then the, the ultralight broke, um, the tip of it broke right, right, uh, right before I switched to my glass rod. Thank you guys for watching. And I can't wait to have the next video out. See you next time.